You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Here's a Brian podcast. Bo Peeps edition. That's my favorite intro ever, right there, dude. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so great, Benny. Benny, just you said it. We're back, folks. Week ten of the NFL season already. We're more than halfway through because we're a little late this week uh, with the Thursday night game already been played. Congrats to the Panthers. I didn't pick them to win, but I just didn't think they'd win. You know, they they got all that shit going on with them trading away the farm for some picks. They pulled it out 25-15. Welcome back to the pod, NFL Picks. We're going to do something a little different. I got a few questions for Chubsy, and I got one thing I got to point out. All of this is sports-related, okay? Your 7-1 Minnesota Vikings won yet again. But that's hold not up, a- hold up, hold up. What? what was the record? 7-1. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Winners are six straight, huh? That's not even the most important part, though, ladies and gentlemen. For the first time in a long time, one of us predicted a score correctly. What? To every single number. And that person picking the Vikings to win 20 to 17 was Sir Jusselton. Huh? Can you believe you fucking picked it? You picked 20 to 17 bites. Fucking no clue. I knew it was going to be a close one. I knew it was going to be one of those trap games that we usually don't win. And knew it was going to be close, but didn't I didn't fucking realize I had the exact right score. So the exact right score. Other than that, we uh you went seven and six, and I went eight and five. Last uh. There you Boys. go. Um, the Bills kind of screwed us last week, but what are you going to do? Um, let's see. Point out. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I, I'm wrong. What? I'm wrong. What? You went eight and five. I went seven and six. I, it's my bad. It's my bad. You son of a bitch. Now, I want to point out another thing there, Chebsy. You were very close to your bold prediction as well. All right. Well, talk to me. Your bold prediction was one quarterback will throw three touchdowns and three interceptions. Oh. One, there was only one quarterback in the NFL that threw three interceptions, but he only threw one touchdown. Fuck. That's Aaron Rodgers. I uh, My bold prediction was three quarterbacks will have over 350 passing yards. Only one did. So, what do you think? Hey, Not getting better. We, we're getting more logical on our bold predictions, and I think uh, – Listen, we're gonna we're gonna knock one out of the park. I think it, yeah, we're definitely getting closer. That's for sure. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Oh right. yeah. Well, here's here's my question. I'm gonna throw at you, okay? And I, I, I got just, you. I got this off a of bar stool, okay? I just heard them on a video of them on Twitter, and this was their question: If you could plan out the four major sport championships. In one weekend, what times would you put what game? So we're talking game seven of the NBA Finals, game seven of the World Series, game seven of the Stanley Cup, and Super Bowl. What's your perfect ideal time? So, for example, would you want the NBA Finals Friday night, baseball Saturday afternoon, Super Bowl Sunday, 6 p.m.? How would you? Question. Question. Now, you were saying for the weekend? Yeah, Friday through Sunday. Oh, oh, Friday through Sunday. That's fucking simple. You think so? Simple. All right. You can even add in college championship, football, and basketball if you want. All right. All right. (laughs) All right. Let's get the NBA championship out of the way. Play that shit on Friday night, game seven. Get it out of the way. Yeah. You're coming up, fucking waking up, going to the ballpark. Starting at damn 1 p.m. watching the finals of the World Series. There it is. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful sunny afternoon. And Saturday night, you're watching the fucking college football championship. 
All right. And then we're going to fucking keep. We got NHL. Stanley yeah, Cup. we're going to go yeah, NHL. Sorry. Love you, but I don't watch that often. So we're going to go NHL is going to lead right into the fucking Super Bowl Sunday night. Bam. Don't I don't hate it. Yeah. There you go. I would, uh, I would probably switch the NBA and baseball. So I'd have baseball Friday night. Nothing like night baseball to me. I don't know why. I love a sunny game. Eating a dog, drinking a beer, and the sun's fucking shining on your face, watching a game. You got nothing me. better. You got hold me. up. Hold up. I got a question for you. Yeah. Does anybody fucking watch the NBA anymore? Too Seriously. People. It's not it's not good. I mean, it's it it just okay. kind of if you watch regular season, it sucks. I mean, it's just the only thing that's keeping me involved is that the Lakers with LeBron James are two and ten this year so far. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not that not that the Timberwolves are any better sitting at like five and eight, but like no, LeBron built that team, and look what's happening. But I'm asking there there is no fucking there is no rivalry, there is no not really. There's yeah, I mean there there's little ones, but yeah. man. You, you just can't beat back in the day rivalries. And and to me, that's what brought me to the sport where you watch an NBA game and you, you're you almost expecting a fight, especially in the playoffs yeah. and the finals to where it's almost like fucking it was hockey on, on the damn hardwood. Yeah. And it was just fucking no holds. And this day and age, I just, I love basketball. I always have. But man, so fucking hard to watch the NBA. It really yeah. is because they're just a bunch of pussies. Can I be honest? <laughs> I'll tell you what you got to watch though. When playoffs come, if the Mavericks and Suns play each other, that's the best. That's that's starting to be a, a real bitter rivalry there because Luca's just insane yeah. good. Yeah, he, he's nasty. Listen, there's there. Listen, there's so much talent in the NBA. There's no question. There's probably more talent in the NBA than the fucking eighties, nineties and all those guys ever had. But yeah. there's no real fucking teams that would fucking fight you yeah. to get a just a win. Not necessarily a fucking series, just to get a win. Yeah. Yeah. And and I totally agree with you. And that's what's so fucking boring about it. It's you're either hitting a three pointer or you're dunking. There's no fucking defense. It's just it's boring yeah. basketball to me. I saw a um, I saw the line of one game and it was the uh, the total points. I think it was at two seventy <laughs> <laughs> for the game, dude. We're talking one forty to one thirty. I mean, that's insane. That's fucking crazy, man. It's I mean, this time too. You know, just one of the greatest players ever to watch now because it's never been done is Seth Curry because Steph. Yeah, Steph, Seth, same thing. No, they're Steph, brothers. That's right. <laughs> Steph Curry. Saw a video of him. Warm-ups. Going fucking, like, it was like, you know, you used to go around Robin. You used to go around the fucking, yeah. around the lane. This motherfucker started the free throw line. Three-point line. Another three feet back. Another four feet back. Right before half court. Then went in every step in. Yeah. And then he would fucking go in and do a fucking runner, and none of them hit the rim. It was always the bottom of the net for fucking 11 straight back. So somebody like that to where that skill has never been seen before. Yeah, You've had some good three-pointers, but you have never had anybody like he's, Steph Curry. He's the greatest three-point shooter ever. Yeah, greatest shooter ever. I'll say that right now. Yeah, I mean, you're, that's the only shots that he misses. Consistently, that is, you know, I mean, it's kind of like a yeah. he's always gonna get his during the games, so uh, well, that's fun to watch. But I just I like physical basketball, fundamental basketball, yeah. And so they're on Friday night, so fuck you, go ahead with your <laughs> where, where, are you, where are you putting them? <laughs> I would, uh, well, you make a great argument, so I may just change it and stick with basketball on Friday because there's nothing like night basketball, right? I mean, you'd Wait all day, anticipation for that game seven. Depends on who's playing in it, too, because, you know, I'm going to be free at night. You know what I mean? Like, Because so, if it's at 
five o'clock on Friday afternoon, no, not a lot of people are going to see it, you know? So I would go, yeah, Friday night. I'll, I'll agree with you, go basketball. I'm doing a, it's not very popular, but I'm doing like a noon, maybe even 1130. Game seven, <laughs> World Series, first pitch. All right. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. One of my favorite things. And like you said, dogs, beers, sun is a beer before noon. That's <laughs> one. Mm, oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially if I'm out and about and, you know, doing whatever, you can catch one before noon. Nice. It'd be a great day. So then you're going to do that game seven. That's going to take about four hours. Get you home at four. Right, five ish, just in time. Let's see what I got left. Just in time for the college football championship. Nice, I like that. Six p.m. Just like the sun, just like the Super Bowl. Um, so, and then I'd have Game Seven of the Stanley Cup at one o'clock Sunday afternoon. So but, let me ask you this: I got to interrupt you. Yeah. Are we hammered drunk throughout? Yes. All right. Thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> We're doing podcast, the whole thing. You know what's great about this this scenario? Is that <laughs> football is is championship. College is in January. NFL is in February. Oh, NHL yeah. and NBA are in June, and baseball is in October. So it's, <laughs> never, it's never going to happen. Never well, happen. It's funny how that is was awesome. Though. And then I, I keep Super Bowl at six p.m. on Sunday. I love at that time. You it, know every. It just it's, it could be at four, but like I like it. But you, but you hear the argument of hey, put the fucker on Saturday night. I don't want to fucking have to go to work. Blah blah blah. Listen, that is a staple now. It yeah. should be actually be a holiday, in my yeah. opinion. But it is just such an event to where everything the week beforehand, up leading up to the game, especially if you're in that city. Yeah. So now that's just a fucking man. That's one. That's one of the greatest days ever. <laughs> It's Super Bowl Sunday, and so yeah, keep it there. The best sport in the world, yeah, bar none. Fuck you, Europe. Football <laughs> is well, real in America. Don't say, don't say, fuck you, Europe, because we're getting ready to jump into our picks for Week Ten. Oh fuck! I'm sorry, Europe. It's all good. Well, the uh, the <laughs> what what? Hitler's army finally died, so the NFL is allowed to play in Germany now. <laughs> First ever regular season NFL game from Munich, Germany. Oh, I love it. I it's love Sunday it. morning, 8.30. Love it. 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 for me. You wake up in football. That's one of my favorite things ever. Nothing better, man. Nothing better. And in Germany. We might have ourselves a good little ball game, Chubsy. Like it. I like it. Seattle versus Tom Brady Buccaneers. Oh, yeah. Well, Seattle's red hot. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And I think it keeps going. I think they go over to Germany and they destroy the fuck out of some damn Tampa Bay. Brady pulled <laughs> one of his last tricks out of his asshole because you realize how good he is you realize that what he just said the other day that nobody will ever reach again this what? motherfucker threw for over a hundred thousand yards holy shit i mean listen he's the goat he's the greatest in every category of a quarterback can be he is the greatest ever but his old ass is not going to get in the end zone seahawks by two tutties Seahawks by two tutties. 28-14. I think Geno goes off. He has been so far, man. I yeah, mean, throws three of them, runs for the other. I'm going to go 31-26 Seahawks. What? Like that. All right. I like I it. That. Um, and let me just make sure you said this correctly. Did you say that Tom Brady has over 100,000 passing yards? Yeah, I'm almost positive. Oh, he's very close. Look it up. 87. Who in the fuck was saying that? Oh, if he finishes the year, he could get 100,000. No? No. 10,000 away. Yeah, he can't even do that. Why in the fuck did that number come up on the on the 
the old show the other day. I mean, he's got over a thousand yards rushing. <laughs> well, hey, listen, folks. You listening to Chubbs? <laughs> The guy that may think that he knows something about a little something, but really doesn't know shit. Hey, I think I thought who I thought I was. Thank you. Huh? So I apologize. Uh, I was totally wrong. You Inefficient. Jab, you jab turkey. Still got Seahawks. Yeah, still got the Seahawks by two times. Um, this dog of mine is all over the damn place. That dog will fight. That dog will hunt, but he's... He, Bother me. All right, Chubbs, we got a uh, familiar face with the Lions traveling to Chicago to take on the Bears. What did I tell you about them Lions beating them pack? You know what? They're fucking up and coming. Got their second one of the year. They're ready to roll. You said so Justin it. Field, yeah, Justin Fields is going to run all over those motherfuckers. The Bears. I think it's going to be high scoring. I think we're going to be in the 20s, 28 24 to Bears. I like that. I'm going 19 to 15. <laughs> Love it. Bears. Love 19. It. Um, all right. Uh, next game on the docket. I'm going to go ahead and take this one because I don't, I, I think this is going to be the final straw for this team. I think it's going to be like, what did we spend $245 million on? When the Broncos go into Tennessee, I think it was foolish for Denver to trade away Bradley Chubb because now your defense is just you got you got Patrick Sertain out there, but Derrick Henry's going to roll all over that Denver defense. Don't care how good people say they are. I got Titans in a low scoring game. but Derrick Henry should have a lot of yards. It's going to be like thirteen to seven, thirteen to ten. Yo, I think that is a great prediction. You know what their average fucking scores are, points per game? Tennessee's only 18.6. The Broncos are 15.1. Even though the Broncos put up over 328 yards a game. Would you would you call it 18-15? I'm going to call it just that. <laughs> Ta- the T- Titans beat them 18-15. to 18-15. <laughs> Thank you. Nothing but field goals. <laughs> Nothing but field goals, baby. <laughs> All right. Well, that being said, draft the or pick up the Titans kicker in fantasy this week, folks. He's going to go Amen. off. Amen. Um, Amen. All right. We're going to roll through the next three because we could do the next four, but I'll do I'll do three because I think they're pretty self-explanatory. I think we got an easy week this week, Chaps. Yeah, I think so, too. I think so, too. All right, so uh, I'm going to assume we're both going to take the Chiefs at home against the Jags. Yep. I'm assuming we'll both take Dolphins over Browns. Yep. Okay. You seemed a little hesitant. Uh, no, yeah. On uh, Dolphins are fucking – Dolphins are going to be <laughs> Yeah. Um are we taking the Texans or the Giants? Motherfucker, are you serious? The New Jersey Giants. Yeah, the Giants will go big. Come New, on. New Jersey Giants. Turd of the week is coming up. I see it. I see it. Oh, wait. Which? Hold on. because All right, folks. Chubbs and I have not talked about which game is turd of the week. All right. Well, so, what game do you – because I have it written down already. Like, hands are here. I'm not going to touch it. What game is turn of the week? Starting at 4 or 5 p.m. on CBS, <laughs> it's your Indianapolis Colts at your Las Vegas Raiders. <laughs> That's what I got. Turn of the week, folks. Turn of the week. You're the not done yet. <laughs> are we picking that one? Let's do this. Let's pick it, Chubsy. You got it. Go yeah. ahead. Listen. Vegas, are, they're favored to win, but really? Because they're at Las Vegas, I guess. I think um, Levante, he came, Levante came out of his shell in the last game. Thank you, in fantasy. And that's the only thing I got. The Colts are in such fucking destruction. They just fired their coach and hired an announcer for their head coach. Exactly. Now, Yeah, even though he was their center for their Super Bowl team for Peyton Manning, North Carolina dude, you got to love him. 
But Jeff Saturday as a head coach of the NF and is the fucking the highest coaching he's ever had is high school. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? I wish it was. Guess what? Mr. Saturday, you're going to get Sunday shoved right up the old poop chute. Levante Adams is going to go off. I think the Raiders by 10 in the turd of the week. Turd of the week brought to you by dog shit. Yeah. Is it dog shit or is it the Colts locker room this year? Oh, yeah. I got Raiders. What'd you, what score did you call it? 28-10? Yeah, I think I can't remember. That up. I think Raiders by 10. Yeah, I got I got Raiders too. I don't uh, I don't see any chance in hell. If you think of skill positions, who do the Colts have? You, you don't even is Jonathan Taylor even playing? I don't think I, so. So I don't know if he's played in six weeks. Did he get traded? I don't even know. I haven't even heard from that motherfucker. So he got he got hurt, I believe. Um, uh, let's see. Looks like let me get this full injury report for everybody. Also, the Raiders just put all those people on IR. Did you see that? Did not. They put uh, Hunter Renfro and Darren Waller. Ooh, that's two yep. fucking big ones, that yeah, dude. And then uh, Denzel Perryman is there. Sorry, it's questionable. Um, let's go to the Colts. This is just really a horrible game. I mean, this is just not, you it's know. not fucking good at all. Shaquille Leonard, their star linebackers out. Deion Jackson running backs out. So they, I mean, but they got a, a guy that's, you know, should be a six-year senior in college at quarterback. And it's just, <laughs> and Jeff Saturday, I saw his press conference though. I'd run through a wall for him because he Listen. It was a good. It was a good way yeah. to hype up a team that has absolutely no shot. And I guess you know Jim Irsay, the owner of the Colts, he was up there in that press conference, and they're asking him, "What in the hell are you doing?" And he's like, "Well, maybe I don't want those damn pompous ass coaches. There's ones that have been there before that that do it the same way every time. Let, let me throw something in there different." So I'll give him that. He's got the old big old cojones to do that, but still. Man, this is mid-season yeah. in the NFL. You're going to take Jeff Saturday just fucking giving predictions of yeah. the fucking the same game, not even two weeks ago on ESPN, and you're going to put him in the locker room coaching a football team on Sunday. I just – nah, it's not going to be good. Yeah. So, you got uh, – I don't I don't remember your score. I, I put 28-10. It's like, That'll work. That okay. don't matter. I'm going to go uh, – Shit, this is just going to be so bad. Who's Derek Carr going to throw to besides Devontae Adams? I mean. That's all he needs to throw to. He's on my fantasy. <laughs> That's true. Um, I can see a big day from them. But you know what, Chubbs? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call a close one here. Okay. Ooh, I thought you were going to. I'm going to go Raiders. I'm still going to go Raiders. <laughs> I thought you were going to go. You know with the other. I'm going Colts. I'm going Colts. <laughs> Doing it. We haven't disagreed one time yet, so I'm going Colts. I thought you were going to go Lions earlier, but because I, I was going to go Bears, but I'm going Colts, and I'm going to go. Uh, I fucking respect the hell out of that. I'm going to go 21 20. And it's going to be last second, whatever. Last now second. Do they, hey, now they shower Jeff Saturday with Gatorade. I think they I mean, do. Since they're such a bad team, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you freeze up on me? That freeze up on you? A little bit. That's all right, though. Oh, now I just see a bit. Oh, there you are. No, you are. There you are. You good? Yeah, I'm good now. All right. But it's going to be, they're going to shower him with Gatorade, but it's going to be the least favorite flavor of Gatorade. So <laughs> yeah. Which, I like it a lot. Which, personally, my, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the red Gatorade, the fruit punch. I'll drink it. But it's not the first one I'm buying in the store. Give me the green all day long. The original. Oh, yeah. Dude. Oh, yeah. yeah give me the green. Yeah. I'll yeah. Those. All right. Enough about the turd. Enough about the turd. 
We're going to go right off the balls, right to the tip of the penis game of the week. Saints at Steelers. <laughs> the red, the red rocket rifle versus Mister Picket Fence. Jesus. I mean, listen, we had a bunch of fucking choices for Turge of the Week, and I would have never assumed that the Steelers would ever be in that fucking predicament. They're, they're seeing the Steelers at two and six, I, I've never seen it before. It kind of hurts. Yeah. And I just, yeah. Uh, I don't listen, I'm going to say the young quarterback from Pittsburgh pulls one out. I think going to be close, and I think Steelers win it by three. All right. Steelers by three, 12 to nine. I think, <laughs> I, think it went my, I think it went with my heart right there instead of my head. I just I don't yeah. see that being the outcome, but fuck it. I'm going Saints. Uh, I'll, just go again. I'll go Saints. I think Kamara has a big game. I, I just think I just think Steelers are just bad. They're just not good this year. Yeah. Um, uh, the next game, I, I hope it's a tie. I, I don't like either team, um, but I do want one team to win more, unfortunately, just for the Vikings' sake, when the Cowboys travel to Lambeau to play the Packers. Again, I hope they tie. I hope, I hope both of them lose. Do too. Um, but, you know. Two of my least favorite teams, you know, you know that, you know that big time, and I hope. I, I really do. I hope it's a tie. I hope they tie two to two. They both get <laughs> they both get fucking safeties. Fuck both of them, but I just think, listen, the Packers are, and you, you haven't seen them like this in a long time. Which I've never makes, seen them this bad. Yeah, it makes my heart fucking it's it's glorious. <laughs> and yeah, and I think Cowboys. Stomp that ass again. Their defense is just going to be all over fucking Rodgers again. He's got nobody to throw to. Their running game sucks a dick. Cowboys, I don't think Dak's going to go off because I don't think Dak is the right quarterback for him. But Cowboys win by 10, you know what, uh, 27-17. I'll never pick the Packers. I just can't do it. My heart won't let me. It's very no. tempting to this game because I don't want I, I want to go against you, but I'm not stupid. Right. I've been wrong before, but I'm not stupid. So I got Cowboys. I think it's a total defensive domination. I think I think Rogers doesn't start week eleven. I think it's that bad. Wow. Well, think, that, is that, that's I, gotta be your bold prediction, dude. I think he goes out and throws another three interceptions. And I have I've never seen Rodgers throw back to back interceptions. No, but I've I've also never seen Green Bay three games under five hundred. Is that what they're at? Three and six, aren't they? It's beautiful. Uh, it's absolutely yeah. beautiful. Yeah, three and six against six and two. Yeah, I mean I don't. Yeah, I, I don't I don't see the Packers winning this game. So I got Cowboys twenty four ten. And that's uh, that's with a late touchdown, and Rodgers is not even in the game at that point. Wow. Yeah. So I, I guess that could be my bold prediction. I was going to think of something else, but that could be it. I'll write that one down. That's all right. I like um, it. Um, all right, we got Cardinals at Rams. We this one's got potential to be turd of the week, Joe's. Both these teams are supposed to be this high powered. We got the defending champs. You got the Cardinals. Who got Kyler Murray and D Hop and like there's these teams were supposed to be great and they're not. Neither of them are yeah. good. Neither of them look good. So I mean, close gonna, to being gonna carve our defense up when you throw five yard routes when we're playing soft zone. Yeah. You're gonna do that. <laughs> so but, close to being the turn of the week. You're right. The talent on the Rams is unbelievable. But what what it shows you is when you don't have a great offensive line. Yeah, when you have people retire, get hurt, and you're starting anew, when Stafford doesn't have time to throw, it's not this good. is what fucking happens. Yeah, you know he'll find Cup. Cup's going to get his numbers, but they just look fucking horrid. And so do the Cardinals. I mean, little man, 
doing his best, but God damn it, I just yeah. I don't even know what to say. Let me because it's at fucking LA, let's go LA by three, I guess. I don't know. Just that was a hard one to pick. Yeah. You got a score for me, just saying by three. Three nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to go absurd I love, scores. I it's love it. Absurd we're, scores podcast. We're getting down to these these other turds, and uh, our picks are changing, Jubs, because I got, I got Cardinals. All right. I love it. Love it. Cardinals 35-31. No. <laughs> I and love it's it. It's going to be one big play after another. You know. And if it's oh, not, it. it's not. I suck at my job. Whatever. Um. All right. When you've been waiting all day for a Sunday night, you're waiting for the Chargers at the 49ers and what could be two of my favorite color schemes in the NFL. Oh, yeah. I love that sky blue and gold, but I really like that that burgundy and, and gold. That red, yeah, red. deep red. 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 I don't see the Panthers. Hold on. Let me let me interrupt. Did you see the Panthers fucking uniforms last night? I did. Did you see the black helmets? I did. That was sick. I liked them. Enjoyed that. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. The only thing I'd change is I would have made the the logo's primary color that blue with the accents of black. Yeah. All right. You know, the man it was a black helmet with a black logo. But they were still sick. I, I still I love this alternate helmet thing and uh i still think I, I still think i like the bears orange one more i don't know why yeah i wish they had a I do blue c but what are you gonna do um anyways Jeff, for this game i don't really see any chance in hell the chargers win this one i just the 49ers are good they're just their record doesn't show it but they've had a lot of injuries I saw an injury report uh, this morning, actually. They had nine guys out last week. All nine are back. Oh, damn. Including, Seriously. Including Debo. <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. No, that's going to be a shit show. They may have been on a bye last week, but they, but still, they had nine guys out. They, they're getting nine guys back from, uh, from the injury report. Let's yeah. see. And no, I think they beat the Rams last week. I think Debo, I think McCaffrey, I think they all go off. I think it's going to be a big numbers game for the 49ers, in my opinion. I can't disagree with you. I'm going to throw you my score just because I interrupted you. Throw it. So I think 49ers big. I think, you know, 31 to 20. They beat them at least by 10. So, yeah, McCaffrey goes off. Debo goes off. Right there. A match on the again. I don't see the Chargers winning this game, but my score is a little more crazy than yours, Chaps. It's all right. 49ers, 41 17. Nice. I think it's I think it's an absolute domination. I think if there's nice. I think the Chargers score 17 points in the last five minutes of the game. Wow. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been drinking a little hot toddy. It's I actually it is. a little honey, a little lemon juice, some bourbon, some hot water. All that. Uh, it's doing well for the old COVID recovery here. The old goozle. What's a good name? COVID recovery? Yeah, there you go. COVID recovery. <laughs> Anyways, um, Monday Night Football. We got the Washington um, Commanders traveling to the undefeated and coming off a bye. Either. At Philly, I, I'm telling you, Philly looks so fucking good. I just, it hurts me to say it, but Jesus, they, they are good in every facet of the game, and the two most important ones, their offensive and defensive lines are the best in the game. Yeah, that's going to fucking get you wins every week. They are so fucking good at pressure, and which makes their corners better. They are so good at keeping number one clean in the pocket, and he is just doing his thing. And now he's fucking 
His accuracy is unbelievable. He gets in trouble. He can get out of it. But that fucking commander's defense showed me so much respect on how they can pressure a quarterback. Pressure a quarterback. You are in a division game. You're at Philly. You're coming off your bye. You guys are 8-0. You think you are the bee's knees. You are the best in the league. Nobody can fuck with us. Well, guess what? You're not doing what I think you are. The Eagles are not going undefeated, and this is going to be their first fucking loss of the year. Oh. Our boy is going to lead the commanders down on a last fucking minute drive on the fourth quarter, and they're going to fucking beat them. That's going to be a defensive, defensive fucking game. We're only going, they're beating them fucking 17 16, last second field goal. Commanders go five and five. Wow. Wow. That just happened. That is, uh, that should be your bold prediction. <laughs> it's not. I got a good one. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just messing with That's a great call, dude. I, division game. Uh, even though the Eagles are well rested and they've had time to plan, you're right. That commanders team, that, that defensive line is is probably one of the best. And I don't know if you noticed, they didn't even have Chase Young. I think he's coming back this week, though. That's uh, why. I said, yeah. There you go. That's probably why. That is there. Let's see if I can find it here. Let's see if he's coming back. I would love to have that defensive line. Those motherfuckers are sick. Yeah, they're nasty. Yeah. Um, Didn't realize they were that good until we played them, of course. And we just – our offense was just – we got too many weapons and we made the right plays at the right time to beat them. Yeah. It looks like he may be out, Chubbs. Yeah. They said either next week – or maybe the week after. I was hoping he was going to be. But I'll, I'll still take that prediction. I think. The commanders. All right. It, it, lines, it lines up for the Eagles to lose one. Yeah. And then people will finally stop saying this is the greatest team ever because they came off a bye and lost to a team who was under 500. There However, go. I got to disagree with the Jubs. I think uh, poor commanders. When, when's their bye? Because if it's next week, then they're definitely screwed. Have they not already had one, or are they? Uh, they're they're bye weeks, week fourteen. Jesus, that's late. I think that's the latest you could have one. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go Eagles, thirty-eight twenty-four. They're All just right. they're good. Yeah, good. they're good. Good, good, good. Now, for our most important game of the week, and thank the- you. Vikings play the Bills in Buffalo, a place I don't really know if we do well at. Uh, we never really do well traveling to the East Coast. I I don't really know. Um, however, I saw today that they're starting safety. They're starting middle linebacker. Are both going to be out. And then, of course, I think Josh Allen's going to play. Oh, oh, he will. The fucking coaching staff is just feeding the media fucking shit. Josh Which, Allen's going to play. They should, they should feed him shit. I mean, they should. who cares? You know? Like, yeah, I don't want to fucking tell you. Why do I have to explain what I'm doing every single week? Uh, here's, the mo- here's the most important stats. Let me throw them at you. The Vikings oh, scored 24.1 a game. Bill scored 27.5 a game. The Vikes get 340.1 yards a game. The Bills get 416.4 a game. The Vikes give up 20.1 points a game, and the Bills only give up 14.8 points a game. At Buffalo, tough, tough, tough fucking game. Yeah. So, all right, you go with your prediction. Um. Well, fuck Buffalo. Thank you. Okay, I'm never going to pick against the Vikes. No. Okay, and so far, I'm 7-1 and one this year, okay? Thank when you. Picking the Vikes, I'm 7-1. and one. <laughs> Okay, and guess what, Jobs? 
ain't shit change. Ain't shit gonna change. Okay. I got the Vikes because Josh Allen's gonna play, but he's gonna be like second half against the Jets, Josh Allen. He's I think I think it's he's injured. But this, they're hiding something. They're not telling the media something because they don't want it to be, oh, Josh Allen this, Josh Allen, you know. Um, and how ironic would it be if Case Keenum played? Yeah, <laughs> seriously. You, you see all of the, the storylines for this one game? Yeah. This would be our th- fourth ex-Viking quarterback if, if Case Keenum plays that we've played yep. this year. And you know what? All these people on Twitter and ESPN saying Vikings haven't played anybody. They played backup quarterbacks. We're seven and one. We've beaten seven NFL teams. Okay, that's your record. Is you you are what your record is. Thank you, Coach, Coach Parcells. Right. So fuck everybody. Right. So with that being said, Chubs, twenty-seven, seventeen Vikes. I like it. I like it a lot. I think um, it's going to be a 27 point comeback. We're going to score 27 unanswered. Well, no, I think I think, I think we go opposite of that. I think um, I think our key player for the Vikes on Sunday, number 21. Yeah. Mr. Evans showed that he can play in this league. He can cover. He can tackle. He can hit. Mr. Diggs, I'm sorry. You're not gonna see Tony Tiny. You're gonna see Mr. 21, who's a rookie, who think you're gonna think you're gonna fucking roll all over him. Well, guess what? You're not. Sorry. Love you. Loved you. Special place in my heart, but I'm sorry. I gotta agree with you. I think Josh Allen is is hurt. He's gonna play, but we're not gonna give up those big plays to him because he can't run like he usually does. So, yes, I totally fucking agree. I think we go 27, but we're only giving up 14. And a late touchdown at that. So, we'll be up pretty big throughout the game, give up that late touchdown. So, yeah, 27-14, Vikes go to 8-1. and one. Take a commanding five-game lead in the NFC Norse. And all we got to do after that, is win four games and we win the North. Did you know that? Fuck yeah. Do you, I like that. You like that? I like that. And everybody look at fucking Mr. Cousins. That son of a bitch, his cods are this big right now. He's feeling it. <laughs> That's all we need right there, baby. I bet love you love that nerd. I bet you everybody that goes to his church is dripped out in some chains now. <laughs> Father, father, can I talk to you real quick? You imagine that. Oh, this father, yeah. check out these diamonds. <laughs> you imagine, man, if we get that win in Buffalo, what that fucking neck is going to look like. Oh, he's going to be He's going to be in a Speedo next time we see him. Yeah, I already know. They're going to they're gonna give him the same shit. He's going to have all those chains on. He's going to have the watches on. He's, he's not going to go shirtless. He's going to go black wife beater. No. Nah. And a black do rag. Somebody's just gonna go buy him shit and put it on the plane. You know they are, man. They probably already have it in their bag right now. Fuck yeah, Love you it. know everybody. That's the other thing, man. The way that this team, the way their chemistry is, the way they have fun, the way they just all seem like they've been best friends for years is incredible. So you know they're definitely so Darius is like, all right, coach, I know what plays we're gonna do, I know how to sack a quarterback. What do you think about these Air Force Ones for Kirk Cousin on the way back home? The, exactly. And listen. Hey, a new chain. Kirk, full prediction. Kirk will have a Kirk Cousins chain by the end of the year. Love that. When's his Love birthday? That. Hold on. When's his birthday? Because I'll, I'll go to the fucking day. Fuck it. Let me throw my bold prediction in there just because I want to. Throw the bold in here, Jubs. I can't even remember if I picked him to win, but I think the Rams – is it the Rams? Yes. You I think picked, they're going to have. You picked the Rams 3 nothing. <laughs> yeah. Rams. They're going to have seven sacks. 99 is going to have four. 
99 is going to have four. A. A. Ron Donald. A. A. Ron Donald. Four. Four sacks this Sunday. Take that like to the it. bank, folks. I like it. That's that's pretty bold there, Cotton. Um. All right, I'm going to do it, Jeb. I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say it. My bold prediction is uh, Aaron Rodgers is throwing three picks and he's getting benched. Fuck. <laughs> against the Cowboys. Fucking love it. I fucking love it. Any bold prediction comes true, I hope it's not mine. Yeah. What? I hope it's mine, yeah. <laughs> I do too. Fucking hell, I'd I'd rather fucking I'm gonna say this on record. I'd rather Cowboys win than Packers win. Yeah, it's it's hard to hard to even predict that. But hey, the lesser of two evils. You know my saying. Yeah, I do know. I we have to we'll probably have to remind the people here in a little bit. Let's see. Oh, what we will. I promise. Forty six. That's. I think that's it. Though. I think we pretty much did it. You got any other uh, football for this week you want to talk about? I got one thing. I'm like, I just want to show that beautiful gold, that beautiful Viking horn, that beautiful fucking Viking emblem on a car that you can have at your local Viking shop because it's beautiful. They're seven to one, soon to be eight and one. Oh, oh shit! I forgot. Fuck the Packers.